Hey guys, um, thanks for clicking on this DIY. I am going to teach a little, very basic macrame thing. Basically, I'm going to teach all the basic um, knots that I use to make something like this. Um, I'm not going to do this in this video because this takes like hours and hours, um, but I'll teach just the little little knots and so you can kind of design your own thing and um, you can look at designs on uh, Pinterest or Facebook or anything like that and you can easily kind of figure out what knots they used where and so you can make the design yourself. Um, but what you will need for this DIY is any piece of wood or pipe or anything that you want to hang your um, macrame on. I usually use dowels like this. Um, but this is what I got today, and I've never tried it on like a square block piece of wood, so I'm going to do that. Um, a little string like this to um, hang it on. And um, you will need some craft cord. Um, a lot of people will use cot cotton um, string for macrame. It gets really pricey though. This stuff works just as great. It's what I've been using. Um, it's nine dollars at Hobby Lobby. This is the thicker kind. You can get thinner kind that's a little less. Um, you can always use your forty percent off coupon, or um, sometimes they're on sale. So that is a good deal. And this is a hundred yards. That's a really good deal compared to cotton macrame cord. And then I have pre-cut. I've only cut twelve of them. Um, I use a lot more than that on a big macrame, but I am only showing you a little bit, so I only cut 12. Um, I did two arm lengths like this, and then cut, and then I just used this one to measure out all the rest of them. I do it in groups of four, because how the knots work, your designs will work out a lot better if um, you do it in groups of four, so that's why I did 12. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold um, the rope in half so that the ends are matching and you have this loop. You're gonna put the loop behind the wood like this and then you're gonna pull the ends through this loop. And I'll do this twice. So when you just tighten it and it looks like that. So again, and um, you match the ends so that you have this loop on the on one half and the ends matching on the other half. Put the loop up and over the wood like this and then feed the ends through the loop and just pull. And um, you can rewind and watch that again if you have questions, but right now I have 12 cast on. Um, I like to squeeze them pretty tight just so that they're stable and you want to space them up here. Um, some designs work with them closer together, some work with them spread out. This one's just about even. Okay, now I'm going to teach a square knot. Um, it looks like this. Um, I probably use this one the most in my designs. Um, well, designs, I've done like three, but <laughs> in the macrame that I've done. Um, so this one you'll use two. Um, that you cast on, so there's four strings here. Um, this one's kind of confusing, but I'm trying to keep this video short, so you'll just have to rewind it if you have questions. So these two middle ones will just stay straight like this, and the two outside ones are the ones you'll be working with. So um, I start with the right usually, and you just cross it over the top like this, just pinch it there so it'll stay, and then you take the left one, You'll go over the one you just looped, like that, behind the two straight pieces, and through this little hole that you have. So up and through, like that. And then you'll see you have this little crisscross. You just pull that up to the top. That's the first half of the square knot. Um, if you started on the right the first time, like we did, you'll go with the left side this time, cross it over, on top, the right one will go over top of that crossed piece like this, and then behind the two straight ones and through the loop on this side, and pull it up, and that is your square knot. And um, so I'll do that one more time right here. 
take the right one, go over the two straight pieces, oops, pinch it, take the left one, go over the one you just crossed, behind the two straight pieces, and through this loop, and then tighten it. And then, since we started on the right side, we'll go to the left, we'll go over the two straight pieces, Take your right piece, go over that, go behind, and through the loop. Okay, and then you have that crisscross, so you just pull that up and tight. And for this piece, um, I've done that across the whole top here. That's how a lot of mine start, um, just because it gives you a nice uniform knot. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to do this little design on the other half. Um, I've just done these, um, I don't know what they're called, like half hitch knots or something. I'm new to this too, so I'm not really sure. Um, angled and then square knots in the middle. Um, so let me take you to the other side. I'll take this middle square knot. Now these ones right in the middle, they split this section in half, right? So these are going to be your working, or not working, these are going to be your leading ropes. So these are going to lead the shape, so it'll be a V like this. I'm going to start on the left side. So the V will go down about this angle, so it'll go under the lead rope. You'll just twist it over, but you want to go through this loop right there. So you've made a little loop, then you'll just tighten that to the top. So that's the first half, and the second half you'll take the same rope, you just twist it over. Again, this rope won't be doing anything. Um, you'll go over the top again, but this time you're going to be going through the loop this way. So that was confusing, but I'll do a whole bunch and we'll tighten it up to the top. Okay, so then we just leave that one there and you move on to the next rope. So again, this rope just stays at this angle. You go around this way, over, and pull this one through that loop. Tighten it, and then this time you'll go around over top and go down through the loop, tighten it, and then move on to the next one. Tighten it, so that's your angle going to the left. What's nice about this knot is they this is your lead rope, it can kind of slide along that line, so you can adjust it afterward a little bit. Now we'll move on to the right side. The hardest part for me was going from left to right. Um, so on the right side, this will be, the farthest one to the left will be your lead rope. So this is going at an angle, it won't be doing anything. So this rope behind it, you're gonna go Make sure it's crossing over behind always first. You'll go over the top and through the loop. That one's probably hard to see, so I'll do that on the next one. And then again, same rope, over the top like this. So it's over the top and then through the loop and tighten it. Next rope, make sure it's crossing behind first and then it goes over the top like this so it's just draped over the top and then pull it through the loop tighten it again same rope so i've tied one square knot um, in the middle of this v and how these other square knots are more unique is um, I'm not just moving on to the next four strings. I'm going to do two from this knot that we just tied and then two that haven't been used yet. So um, we just grab these four strings and you'll just do a square knot with these and you want to tighten it so it's just below this one because we're kind of going for this like pyramid shape.
Okay, to join these two sections together, I'm going to do, do a square knot. I'm right here with two from this side and two from this side. And then I think I'm just going to do a couple rows of those alternating square knots. So I will show you what that looks like. Um, okay, so I've joined those together with a square knot. Now I'm going to finish this row and then, and then I'll show you how to do the alternating on the next row. So I finished this row of square knots. You're going to have two extra ropes on each side that um, wouldn't make a full square knot when you're tying it because we went from the middle. Um, so now you're going to use those two extras. You can start on either side. You'll grab the first four ropes, tie a square knot. Um, when you tighten it, you want to tighten it so it's lined up just below that row you just did because this is going to be our new row. You're going to have a little bit of slack on this side, but it's okay because it makes it look cute. It gives it these little scalloped edges kind of going down. So I'll finish this square knot. Okay, so on each side you'll have a little bit of slack right there. That's okay though. So now you've got all of your square knots tied and tightened. Um, now I'll show you one more knot. These are literally the only three knots that I've used in any of the things I make. Um, so it's just like a square knot. So you're going to start, let's see, I'll show you one in the middle. So grab four just directly from the one you did above since we used an even number this time so you're gonna cross over the right the right above the two middle pinch it put the left one over the right behind the middle and through that loop you made tighten that so that's the first half of a normal square knot but then instead of going left over the two middle, you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna go right over the two middle, left over right, cross behind and through the loop. And you're just gonna keep repeating that for as many times as you want. And it's gonna make this little twisty rope. Okay, so I realized last time you couldn't see the bottom of these, but there's a little bit better view of that twist. Um, I stopped right here because I realized I could show you how to twist it the other way. So all of these three are twisting this direction from right to left. And for these other ones, I'm going to twist them from left to right, um, just so it switches it up a little bit. So instead of crossing over the right first, I'm going to cross over the left. So you go left crossing over the top, right going over that left cord, behind and through, just like the second half of a square knot. And I'm just going to keep repeating that, so the left first. Um, and I counted these, I did 11 knots, so I'm going to do that for 11 knots on this side. Um, and I'll go right here, just do a regular square knot, so I started with the right on top first, and I'll do the left on top so it doesn't twist.
And then there's a couple different ways you can finish pieces. You can, um, to make them more complex. Because one layer um, can be really simple and cool if you have the right design, but like this one would, I feel like it needs something else. Um, like you can do separate pieces, so this can be like the middle piece, and then I'll attach a couple more strings on this side and this side, and tie some knots to drape across, and I'll show you that on some finished pieces. But those are your simple macrame knots. All right, so we are done with our macrame piece. This is what it looks like. Not the prettiest. <laughs> um, probably won't hang this on my wall, but it like it worked out really well um, to teach you guys just the simple knots. So we learned how to cast on your rope, do the square knots, do the half hitch, I think is what they're called. No idea, could be completely wrong. Sorry if I am. <laughs> um, these twisty ropes and then um, gave you a couple options with how to finish that off. Um, I'm going to show you just the finished product so that you have an idea of what you can do now that you have learned those knots. So um, this is the exact same rope I used in the video, just barely. Um, this is three separate pieces, just all put in one. So I did a center one right here, um, which is really similar to what we just did. Um, and then I did these, this little like draped section, which I just did um, strings on this side, strings on this side, kind of angle them down and then tie them together. And then I did what's called a skirt, which is you tie a single string across the whole piece. And then in, you cast on exactly like you're casting onto the um, wood but you cast onto the string and so it makes the skirt really full and pretty and then I just cut it at a slight angle so it just went with the lines of this piece. Um, this one, if you can see, um, the string is a little bit thinner. It's cheaper that way but I had to use a little bit more so I guess it kind of ends up being the same price to make. Um, but I did a center piece, I did a twisted rope piece that um, I taught in this. I did that draped piece and, and a skirt, so this has four pieces. And then I fringed the string there, um, just on the middle. I felt like if I did it on the whole thing it'd be too much, so I like just that little hint of fringe there. And um, so that's how I did that. So you have almost endless possibilities with just those couple, what was it, like four different knots that I um, taught today. Um, so thank you so much for watching my first video. Um, if you like it, then please subscribe, comment if you want to see more macrame, or if you have ideas of other DIYs. I'm planning on posting probably not super regularly because school starts <laughs> um, soon, but I will post when I have time. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.